Welcome to the YouTube enjoyer. So I got a new mic, by the way. Stay in shed. All right. Anyways, today there was a director's stream. In general, I think it's W. Yeah, like a lot of things were introduced. So let's check it out. So first one is the Hyper Awakening. It is coming upcoming Wednesday. So that's like, you know, five days from now. So Hyper Awakening system have Hyper Awakening and Hyper Skill. If you see here, right here, V, like you can change the original, you know, Awakening into Hyper Awakening. And T is the new, like, you know, key, right? This is the Hyper Skill. Hyper Awakening can be used only once per run, the parade. And you are invincible to everything when you're using it. Any buff or party synergy does not get affected to the Hyper Awakening. Okay? Now for Hyper Skill, like this T skill is a very long cooldown skill. So this part is the UI of the tripod on the Hyper Awakening and Hyper Skill, so the Arc Passive. Like currently, we don't know what these do. It's not shown, but it looks like this. There's only two layers. The next one is they're adding the Arc Passive system into the Trixian as well. For people who didn't know, Trixian did not have Arc Passive, which was very dumb. So like people couldn't test out like, you know, stuff unless they actually uh, reached that point. But now they're adding it upcoming uh, Wednesday. So that's a W. Great. You can adjust any level of the tier four gems, skills, and even engraving. And it looks like you can adjust the arc passive skill points as well. Next one is pet talent. So it's a new feature. Um, you put the pets into the training area. Uh, which is not the original training, it's a new kind of training. For the training, it requires the stronghold currency or gold. So you guys have to like, you know, farm the stronghold, like, you know, currency from now on. So by investing these stuff, you can unlock the pet talent. And what does it do? You can place the talents up to three like this. And each of the talents has an effect of something like, if I translate this, when you craft a feast, then the great success rate increases by 3%. Um, when you craft the Oreha kind of like special stuff, then your great success increases by 1%. Um, when you do a dispatch, then your adaptability increases by 2%, which is the success rate, right? Yeah, like those kind of stronghold related stuff, guys. Okay, I mean, better than nothing, right? And they're adding a new report, you know, Ren and Tamut and Mystic. Yeah, Ren is like, you know, spam looking emo, guys. She's hot. So this is a Hyper Awakening Path. It's an event. You can apply it on a 1600 character. And it will support honing from 1600 to 1620. You can only like designate it only on one character, like Express Pass, of course. Not only it supports you with the honing materials down here, if you clear the challenge, then it gives you 40 set elixir. But don't be too happy. The 40 set elixir will not contain like the ones that you need or you want. Like it will be like scuffed options. So, so you get that and activate the 40 set first. And slowly, like you have to change it by yourself by like spending your gold is the intention. Okay. Yeah. And not just that, Transcendence will also like be given for free. Transcendence, um, up to stage three clear on all five armor pieces will be given. All five of your armor pieces will have nine flowers. And this part is also gonna be something hot for the West. They are finally letting normal ivory and solo ivory get legendary elixir. Heroic elixir is gone. They're getting deleted. Therefore, the legendary elixir will be obtainable from 1600 and also will be able to be cuttable. Transcendence will also have changes. You know that there's a gate lock, right? Raid lock, right? Of clearing, you know, hard mode on the Feymine, right? For the four and seven. Now, regardless of the difficulty, you just have to clear up to gate three. So just clear normal Feymine gate three and you can unlock all the way to seven. Okay, next one is um, they are nerfing Echidna's um, difficulty uh, on the, you know, mech, the, you know, the, the gimmicks. 
that which is good. But the, but the thing is, if you see here, they are increasing the eye level of the hard mode from 1630 to 40. So normal stays at 20, but hard becomes 40. And some of you guys might say like, what the F, like why? Director himself says the reason why he did this is number one. So tier four starts at 1640, right? By doing this, Echidna hard mode will give tier four rewards as well. So that's good, right? And the reason number two is according to their data, people don't even do advanced honing on 1620 they just like transfer to a tier 4 gear and become 1640 right away so there's no point of having a kidna like you know uh, advanced honing below 1640 so that's a another reason what why he says that he moved up to 1640 and also they're nerfing the you know difficulty of the single the solo mode as well i don't know how many of you guys are interested in pvp but they're adding a new mode on the pvp so it's a 1v1. It's 1v1, but you can select three characters from your roster, each like this, and then you 1v1 on each of the character. And next one is Bro Shaza Raid. That's coming in September 25th, Wednesday. Um, so this raid is after A gear, right? Normal is 1670, hard is 1690. It only has two gates, so at least it's a Good news out of bad news that it only have two gate. Um, the bad news is the director said that the raid is gonna be hard. What he said is that there's no mercy for the difficulty. It's gonna be definitely harder than A gear. Um, A gear normal. He he was he talked about the normal mode as well. A gear normal was clearable even with scuffed elixir and the transcendence. But bro, Shaw's are normal. This one 1670 will not gonna be like that is what he himself said, so work harder, young man, guys. So what are the rewards from the Bro Shaja raid? Um, you can, same as A-Gear, you can craft the ancient gear. Now, these parts are different. The tier 4 bracelet is finally coming out with the Bro Shaja. Normal mode gives relic tier 4 bracelet. Hard mode gives ancient tier 4 bracelet. And also, it gives a new item called Destiny Stone. And also, they're adding a new min-max system called Karma. He tried to assure the players, saying that this new min-max system, like, you know, is not gonna be like Elixir or Transcendence kind of stuff. This new feature called Karma is something that is very simple. And yes, it will act as a gold sink. So what happens is that you click this left button right here, and there's this UI, and there's like, you know, honing kind of level, right? This is the Destiny Stone, and you put some gold as well. Then the hone succeed with certain success rate, like a honing. And what do you guys get by succeeding the honing? Some, you know, base stats. Like, for example, this says weapon power increase from 0 0.3 to 0 0.4 spam keg W. I mean, anyway, it's better than nothing, right? And not only this, he said that this feature will give more point. Uh, for the arc passive points as well. Lastly, there's one more thing that I cannot show um, on this video because it's so long. But this is literally the flower, the highlight of today's stream. You must watch it. It is the Hyper Awakening. They added a full showcase of the Hyper Awakening and Hyper skills on every speck of the classes. If you want to watch it, go check out the link down there, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Hope this video helped you out. Stay Giga Chat and stay W, guys. Yeah.